stories of the Bible, the fiery furnace. There once were three Jewish men named Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hey! When they were very young, they were taken from Israel to live in a place called Babylon. At that time, the king of Babylon was a man named Nebuchadnezzar. That's it. Almost there. And he made a gold statue that was 90 feet tall. Perfect. The king sent a message for everyone to come to the dedication of his statue. When everyone had assembled, <laughs> it was declared that people of all races, nations, and languages would bow before the statue and worship King Nebuchadnezzar's statue when they heard the sound of musical instruments. If anyone refused, they would be thrown into a fiery furnace. So at the sound of the musical instruments, all the people bowed to the ground and worshiped. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not because they were Jewish and would only bow to the one true God. Some of the wise men of Babylon went to the king and told him that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow to the statue. What? This made the king very angry, and he asked Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego if it was true that they would not bow to the statue. Then he said he would give them one more chance to bow down, and if they did not bow, they will be thrown into the fire. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied that they didn't need to defend themselves against the king. They said, if we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. But even if he doesn't, we want to make it clear to you, your majesty, that we will never serve your gods or worship the gold statue you have set up. Ah! The king was so angry with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that he commanded the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than usual. Then he ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be bound and thrown in the fire. The fire was so hot that it killed the soldiers that threw them in. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego fell into the flames. But suddenly, the king jumped up and said to his advisors, didn't we tie up three men and throw him in the furnace? The advisor said, yes. But the king said, look, I see four men walking around the fire and the fourth looks like a god. Then the king shouted to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, come out. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stepped out of the fire and everyone saw that the fire had not touched them. They didn't even smell of smoke. Then Nebuchadnezzar praised the one true God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had rescued them from the fire. And the king made a new command that anyone who spoke a word against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would be greatly punished. Then he promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in his court. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted in God and were willing to die rather than worship any god but their own god. Uh, no, uh, yes? Um, maybe? Why not? Oh, hi, I guys! Mean, ah! Oh, <laughs> hi, Jim and Gift. <laughs> You scared me. Oh, sorry, guys. Hi, friends. Welcome to Scup at Scout Camp. We were just going to the snack shack, and it looks like no one's here. Yeah, but there, there's so many cookies out here. Yeah, but there's no one to buy them from. But, but I saw a bunch of kids taking them. Hmm. Well, what do you think, Gus? Is it the right thing to do? No, I know it's not right, but they did it. I know it's tough, Gus, but even if other people make the wrong choice, we can always be a good example and make the right choice. But, but that's really hard. Oh, I know, Gus. It's hard for me too. Just the other day, I had to make the right choice not to cut in line when I saw someone else do it. Oof, that's tough stuff. Yep, I really wanted to cut too, but I knew it wasn't right. Yeah, and for me, I had to make the right choice by being a good friend and invite someone to play a game with me, even though one of my friends said they couldn't play. Oh, 
Wow, I think that made the person feel really good that you invited them to play. Yeah, I hope so, even though my friend was not happy with me and that was tough. But I knew that God wanted me to make the right choice and I know that He'll always be with me and help me make the right choices. Oh, that's good because it is hard to leave those cookies out there. I want to take one so bad, so I need God's help. And He will help you. Wow, I didn't know that. That makes me feel good. But I do have a question. Sometimes I know what's right and wrong, but sometimes I'm not sure. How do I know for sure? That is a very good question. God shows us in the Bible things that are good and right to do. You can listen to the Bible stories where God shows us what is right and good, and you can talk to a safe adult when you aren't sure what to do. And you know, God will also forgive you when you make wrong choices too. Oh. God loves you when you make wrong choices and when you make right choices. Nothing you can do will make God love you less. Wow, that helps a lot. Okay, I I'm going to make the right choice and not take the cookie. That's great, Gus. Friends, remember when stuff is tough, you can always make the right choice. Yeah, and God will help you, and He will love you no matter what you do. That's right. Now, before we go, let's do our Scuppet Scout salute. Mm. We're going to clap twice and then howl like wolves. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> Friends, we love you and we'll see you next time at the Scuppet Scout Camp. Bye. Bye! Let's sing our Bible verse together. It's Jeremiah 29 11, and it says that God has great plans for all of us. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. So let's sing this out. You guys ready? Here we go. Great job, let's sing it again, for I know. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Let's sing out plans for good. They are plans for good and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. Whoa, whoa. Great job, you guys. I want to see some really big waves. Here we go. Let's sing out Jeremiah 29, 11. Jeremiah 29. Job, you guys, let's sing it all over again. For I know. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Great job, you guys. Let's hear it. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Let's sing out plans for good. They are plans for good and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. Whoa, whoa. Good job. Let's sing it one more time. For I know. Good job, you guys sing it again. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Let's sing out plans for good. They are plans for good and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. Whoa, oh. All right, you guys, let's see some pretty big waves. Here we go. Let's sing out Jeremiah 29 11. Jeremiah 29 11. One more time, Jeremiah 29 11. Jeremiah 29 11. This song we're going to sing is all about God's love for us. It's called This Love. We're going to start by singing O E O, This Love, This Love. Are you guys ready to do that with me? Okay, hands up. O E O, This Love, This Love. Let's do it again. If 
is. I've seen where love goes. I've seen what love does. It changes everything. You sing that again. I've seen where love is. I've seen where love goes. I've seen what love does. It changes everything. A little bit louder. I've seen where love is. I've seen where love goes. Good job, you guys.